Once again, House Republicans have blocked positive cannabis law reform from happening in the United States. Last week, Republican members of Congress voted down an amendment to the 21st Century Cures Act that would have reclassified cannabis from Schedule 1 and made it easier to conduct research on the plant's medical efficacy. More specifically, the bill would have encouraged the National Institute of Health and the DEA to work together to permit studies of the benefits and risks of cannabis in treating various illnesses like cancer, epilepsy, and PTSD. Of course, this isn't the first time federal Republicans have blocked cannabis law reform. On another occasion, they vetoed a Senate committee measure to let doctors discuss cannabis with veterans, when the residents of the District of Columbia voted overwhelmingly in favor of cannabis legalization. Republicans fought the reform and managed to stop the city from allowing pot sales. In that instance, Congress members even had the audacity to threaten DC's mayor with jail time. Even as they continue to obstruct cannabis research, many Republican lawmakers still claim to oppose cannabis legalization because of a lack of evidence. In reality, Republican interference makes it nearly impossible to conduct comprehensive, objective cannabis studies that could provide valuable insight and refute tired prohibitionist opinions. Despite this, it remains unclear why Republicans voted down this specific amendment as the bill's opponents refused to comment.